Well, for everyone being impacted by the discharges coming out of these locks here in Stewart, there is hope. A federal agency is helping affected businesses from across the state, but there is a cost. At Fresh Catch Seafood in Stewart, the purse strings continue to get tighter. We'll make it somehow. We have to. You know, you can't just close the doors because you start losing money. And you got to stick it out as long as you can. How's your lunch today? The owner here, Eric Olson, says he's had to cut back on employees' hours to help cover other costs, like the price tag of the restaurant's namesake. Our fishermen have to go further to get fish. Uh, which costs more money. Every day, he pays 50 to 100 extra dollars to get that seafood, adding up to thousands of extra dollars each month. It's businesses like this one that can now get help from the Chamber of Commerce and the Small Business Administration. And I'm not asking for free money. Joe Catrambone and other members of the Chamber and SBA canvassed local businesses this week, letting them know there's help in the form of a federal loan. The response for most of those people is we don't need a loan. We need some sort of FEMA type relief. But FEMA said this week it won't help. So it's up to the business right, to decide we'll if they want to life. take out a loan through the SBA or keep fighting against the bloom on their own. I've seen algae bloom year to year, sometimes worse than others. This is the worst it's ever been by far. Now, the SBA will provide up to $2 million in assistance, but there is a catch. Coming up at 6, find out why some business owners aren't taking the agency up on its offer. We're live in Stewart, Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5.